Welcome to NHK uh, Newsline Asia 24. I am Ayuchita. I'm here to bring you news with a focus on this region of the world. Our top story this hour, senior officials from Japan and South Korea are sitting down together in Tokyo in a bid to resolve a bilateral trade dispute. The meeting is the first of its kind since Japan tightened export controls on some high-tech materials sold to South Korea. Now, the U.S. and China recently reached a phase one trade deal that could help relax tensions as the two countries work towards a broader agreement. Earlier, we asked Takaaki Asano, a senior analyst with Sumitomo Corporation Global Research, about the deal, starting with why the breakthrough came. The U.S. Special Representative for North Korea is playing down Pyongyang's year-end deadline for Washington to take a more flexible approach to negotiations. Stephen Beacon says the U.S. has a goal, not a deadline. The New York Times says that the U.S. government secretly expelled two Chinese diplomats after they drove onto a sensitive military base. The incident adds to the broader tensions between the two economic heavyweights. European star soccer player Mesut Ozil is facing a backlash in China over comments he made criticizing the alleged mistreatment of Uyghur Muslims. Some Chinese fans are calling on his team to dismiss him. The UN COP25 climate conference in Madrid has concluded with delegates unable to find common ground on rules for implementing the Paris Agreement. Participants are urged to do more to mitigate global warming. Boeing is reportedly on the verge of another setback for its grounded 737 MAX jet. We turn to Ramin Maligard from our business desk for the details. So Ramin, looks like the executives are getting close to making a tough decision. Exactly. Further uh, decisions that the, has, the board has to make on this big uh, uh, issue. Right now, we move to today's Asia Focus. We take you to the Japanese island of Tsushima for the first of a two-part series about the challenges facing residents living there. Now, world leaders set a major goal at the G20 summit in June to stop plastic waste from flowing into the ocean by 2050. And sitting at the opening of a strait, uh, of a strait right between South Korea and Japan, uh, strong currents funnel garbage into Tsushima every day, actually. NHK World's Ryo Asami met people fighting a never-ending battle against the flow of trash. Chinese officials are heeding a warning from the WHO about how dangerous video game addiction can be. Earlier this year, the health organization recognized the condition as an illness. And now China is trying to figure out how to put healthy boundaries on one of its most profitable industries. NHK World's Naoki Makita reports. And now it's time for world weather with our meteorologist Tsietsi Monales. So Tsietsi, we've you know had a nice spell of sunny blue yes. skies for the last few days. It's been great. Yeah. Is can we expect much of the same this week? Well, looks like I have time to slip in one more story. The fishing season for baby Japanese eels has begun in western Japan, and fishermen are hoping for a better catch than last year, which was the worst on record. That's all for today's edition of Newsline Asia 24. Join us again tomorrow at the same hour. I'm Ayuchida in Tokyo. Thanks for watching.